I made this video back in February 2020, and in this video I talked about and concluded that the Sony A6600 was, in my humble opinion, the ultimate vlogging camera. Well now, that has changed. We have a new kid on the block. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, put your hands together for the new Ultimate Vlogging Setup 2021. Drum roll please. <clears throat> So here it is, I am holding what, in my opinion, is now the best plug per the best possible vlogging setup for 2021. So just like a good woman, let's start from the bottom and work our way up slowly, shall we? Yeah, right, as if I know anything about a good woman. There it is. The key word, good. So trying to follow that mantra, here at the feet, the sexy legs, we have this, the mini grip, which is the Sony GP VBT 2BT. What a name. This, as well as being a yeah, very small lightweight grip and kind of a mini tripod, connects directly to your camera via the standard quarter 20th thread and can swivel and tilt. But more importantly, is also a wireless Bluetooth controller. From the grip, I can very easily start and stop recording, take some selfies, and uh, then also lock the button so I don't accidentally stop or start recording at awkward moments, like when I'm in the toilet, for example. Yes, I've done that before. I've had the grip for a little over 12 months now and never had a single issue. It's very, very easy to pair via Bluetooth with your camera and even easier to use. Little tip though, after pairing the device to your camera, make sure you also turn on the camera menu setting in addition to pairing, normally labeled something like enable Bluetooth control. Otherwise, you'll sit there for hours wondering why it pairs okay, but it doesn't seem to work with your new Sony a7C. Now, speaking of Sony cameras, let's slowly move up the legs to the voluptuous body. This is the uh, new Sony a7C, which among other things has a fully articulating screen, which you guessed it, makes it perfect for vloggers like me and you. And for that reason alone is the uh, body of choice for my ultimate vlogging rig. Now it uses a very similar body to the previous champion, which was the Sony a6600, but the a7C is full frame. And as I said, the screen articulates to the side, so uh, it is not actually blinded when you add a microphone on top like it was with the a6600. Now the body is small and lightweight, coming in at just 509 grams. So easy to carry around with you all day. And because it uses the same Z battery as the A6600, it has a really, really good battery life. I talked about this and all the features in a lot more detail here, where I compared it to my beloved Sony A7 III. I love you. I absolutely love you. Moving on from the body outwards to this area, uh, I initially had the Sony 10 to 18 APS-C lens on the camera, which if you read online, is a big no-no. Why would you put an APS-C lens on a full-frame camera? Well, I did, because I wanted to. It was an extremely small and light lens, and uh, I didn't really notice any shift in quality, to be honest, when using it. But, for you purists, I've sold that lens and I'm now using this one, which is the Sony's 16 to 35 full frame lens, which of course produces a perfectly lovely image, but it is on the little heavier side and bulky, a um, bit more than I'd like to be fair, but for you purists out there, this made it into the ultimate rig. So now uh, stripping down the woman, um, I mean stripping down the camera, heading inside, we have this the Sony SF-M 128T, which is a tough 128 gigabyte SD XC memory card. It's a very reliable SD card apparently that is uh, bend proof, waterproof, dust, sand and mud proof. But I don't fancy testing that if I'm being honest. It's 300 megabytes per second read paired with its 299 megabyte per second write speed is an essential part of my video creation kit. So I thought it was worth mentioning. Moving up the body 
to this, the final item, the microphone. This is the Sony ECM-B1M, which is a shotgun microphone that has a digital input directly to the camera. Now, in geek speak, this connects to the camera via the little hot shoe mount here and records digital audio directly to the camera, directly to the camera, as well as also drawing its power from the camera. So, I never need to connect an audio cable ever again. I never need to remember to turn my microphone on ever again. I can literally just turn my camera on and away I go. It just works. Now the quality of the sound that I get out of this so far has been amazing and with this little fluffy dead cat on the top it's also survived some windy days. I should also mention it has three, three, that's right, three very useful vlogger modes. And those are super directional. And this is when you just want it to primarily pick up the audio of the person directly in front of the camera, me if I'm vlogging. Unidirectional. When you want to maybe record the audio of a group of people in front of you, this can do that. Omnidirectional. Which records the front audio, but also the behind audio at the same time. So it means I can be filming someone else whilst getting in on that audio action. Last point on the microphone, I promise. It only adds 0.2 gauge to the camera. So basically next to nothing. I mean, this whole package, this whole package here weighs, I don't know. I don't know what it weighs. Wait there. <laughs> is 1,055 grams. So that converts to whatever is on the screen somewhere now. So there we have it. In my opinion, from all the various kit I get to play with, this is the best setup for a vlogger or someone who wants amazing quality video, a small and light rig and versatility that you can get in 2021. So if that's you, this is for you. Now, now let's stop there for a moment. This package isn't cheap. You're looking at nearly 3K for all of this together. So I'd like to say this is, this is ideal. You really, honestly, hand on heart, do not need this to make content. A phone nowadays is more than enough to, to get creative, create a decent video and to put something out there. You can't expect to get something like this and have all of your problems fixed just like I did when I started out. I personally would highly recommend using YouTube just to learn the basics of video and lighting, which is very, very important. And then just play around, combine some basic kit and a phone, a little bit of learning with a lot of experience. And trust me, you'll get there. You'll end up making some great content. Now, with that being said, as always, you know the drill. Comments, feedback, ideas, down below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put this shade on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me, like they all shade.